Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to do a forward throw. I'm also going to show you how to do a shoulder knot, as well as a drill on how to fall backwards. Nine. So I'm going to show you how to do the forward throw. There's a couple of different grips we can do for this. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to hold the double grip. What I want you to do is let go with the right hand and you're going to go underneath here. The footwork for this, what it's going to look like is you're going to put the right foot to his right heel. The left leg is going to swing back and at the same time you're going to extend the right leg in front of him. So what the footwork should look like is I'm doing this, this is going to swing back and extend. Notice how I'm bending my knees when I'm going in. If I go in like this, nothing will happen. If I try to throw Jordan like this, it doesn't really work. I need to bend my knees when I go in. I need to come in. Obviously, it's slow motion. But but look here, right foot forward. This is gonna swing back and extend the leg. Notice here, right toe to right heel. This swings back and this gets extended. So here, and the same time with the hands. The hands need to remain in front of you. It's not gonna work if I go like this to Jordan. And my hands are all the way back here. I'll get a hernia before I throw him. Needs to remain in front, it needs to be pulling the whole way through. Next, I'm going to show how to do the shoulder knot as well as the Americana. So, I have just gotten Jordan on the ground. I need to have my knee into his hip, my elbow into his hip, as well as my knee right next to his head, then my elbow holding him down. I'm pinning him. Now, all we're going to do is the shoulder knot first, then the Americana. What I want you to do is have his arm bent on the ground, my right hand grabbing the wrist, my left hand going underneath and grabbing my own wrist. Now, his elbow is making an arrow. That arrow is being pointed down towards his hips. I don't need to use so much muscle. All I need to do is just pull it this way. That's it. So grab here. All I need to do, already in pain. Again, not trying to muscle this over, just My left hand is being used like a throttle on a motorcycle to go and that's it. Just lift the elbow up a little bit. If you're using too much muscle, if you're using any muscle at all actually, you're doing something wrong. Same thing on the other side, his arms up. All I have to do, that's it. Just Go towards the hip, and that's the shoulder knot. Now I will show you how to do the Americana. It's same thing, except instead of his arm being up like this, it's like this. So now our arrow is pointed where? It's pointed up towards his head. So same thing, one hand on the wrist, the other one snakes under the arm, and all you have to do is just, same thing, pull up towards the arrow, and use your other hand like the throttle on a motorcycle here. That's it. Here. So next I'm going to show you how to do the backwards fall drill. Now we've already learned a couple episodes how to fall backwards. Now we're going to use a friend and we're going to add more to this. So all you're going to do is you're going to stand with your uh, calves touching your friend who's in the low four position, all I want you to do is you're going to sit down and fall over the top of them. So here, here. Remember, chin down, smash the mat, closed fingers. So here, I'm falling. One more time. So here, here. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I am kind of experimenting with different editing styles, so tell me if you guys noticed anything. Um, please leave any questions, comments, anything. Uh, I try to answer any comments that I receive. Have a good day, guys.